we back with part two this time it's gonna be questions sex questions it's gonna be anything that y'all want to know about the lgbt and we're just gonna be answering some questions but before we get started in this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe it says the funniest thing that ever happened while having sex <laughs> what oh <laughs> wait <laughs> what yo <laughs> what <laughs> what you thinking about open these poses bro what happened <laughs> Exposed as hell. You gotta tell me. Y'all. Mm -mm. Now she not finna tell me. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I fell off the bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo, we oh. both fell off the bed. Don't yeah, forget that I, part. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I didn't know you. I didn't know you fell. You Remember, forgot. I hit my head on the door. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot I hit my head on the door. You yeah. fell on cushion. If I know you coming with me. Hey. That's what I'm saying. You, she's talking about. I, she no, I didn't think. Y'all see how she landed that on some I fell off the. No, bed. she landed on cushion. I fell, hit my back on the board. I hit my head they, on the door. No, it's because I thought it was me at first. I thought it was we at first, but I was like, no, I must be tripping. It might be me. So I said me out loud because I didn't know, but I thought we automatically. So yeah, we fell off the bed. We fell. We fell straight off the bed. Like y'all, she told me to stop. I kept going. <laughs> <laughs> I learned my lesson that day. But um, I was telling her to stop because. I was falling off the bed. So I was telling her to stop for courtesy and had me, but she didn't have no courtesy at all. Like it was just, she thought I was telling her to stop because I wanted her to keep, no, I was gonna fall, like wait. That shit was hilarious, bro. We was laughing. It wasn't even, it was embarrassing, but it wasn't embarrassing to us because yes, we, we laughed. Yeah, like, we, we laugh at everything. We laugh at everything. It's, it's, it's never nothing uncomfortable because we gonna laugh about it. That shit was. As soon as we hit the floor, we bust out laughing. We went from, Hardcore to bust that laughing like <laughs> that's why I knew when you said that I was like oh my god because that was some funny shit. Okay, what is the worst experience you've ever had? The worst? Just the worst because you didn't tell me a couple. This. You know how little my hands are. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, let me see your hand. <laughs> Look at my. Look hands. at these little ass hands. Look how little my hands are, right? Tell me about it. I swear to God. I swear to God, it wasn't even my biggest finger. My biggest, uh, yeah, my biggest finger, bro. <laughs> it was literally. What size can I really give it? It was this. And they was six feet. Mm -hmm. That was in my bio life. But yeah, hey, what'd you say? What'd you say? What? <laughs> what? Remember what you said? Oh yeah, I was like, <laughs> she messy. I was like, um, y'all, I was like, I was like, where you gonna put it in? <laughs> I was like, I would have got up, packed my shit, and it was like, it was like, it is it. I was like, oh, how do you come back from that? Like, damn, damn. damn. I know, I know, he was embarrassed because baby, I'm probably sure. I would have, I would have faked the Charlie horse. I would have stopped having sex. Something, and I would have lived. <laughs> I, yeah, I was in that place. I live. Oh. I was texting in the middle. I said, "Herb, come pick me up, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> I said, "Bitch, call me as soon as you outside. Make it like it's an emergency." Yeah, I had to do. Oh, that man. bitch kind of give me in like less than ten minutes in the middle. Period. Blowing me up. I gotta Period. go. That's why I gotta go. I was mad as fuck. Oh man, I got some. Look, when I as soon as I got to the car, I came in. <laughs> yeah, you could have stayed at home and did did that yourself. Myself. <laughs> Your hands. And I don't even do, I don't even, like, it's no point. I did that. I could have literally bought a fucking toy. I could have did whatever. I could have did, it, it's plenty of things I could have If I wanted to play with my shit, I could have just played with it at home. Like she said. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Me, um, I only got one worst experience I ever had in my life. That's it. And if y'all watched our other video of our sexual experiences Same. that we, that we said a couple months ago, months ago, probably well last year we said did that video. Mm -hmm. Why you want me to say? She loved embarrassing me. Y'all, she had a spank cookie <sighs> chocolate on her face. 
a stink kitty tried to sit on her face. That's the worst experience I've never had. Never again. Ever. I will never feel sorry for y'all ever again. If you want to know the details of that, the worst experience we ever had, go check it out on our other YouTube video. Next question is, do you both classify yourself as anything? Me, I'm just me. I don't know who else to be. I don't know any other way to be. And people classify me. Of course, when they see me, they automatically be like, okay, you like a little boy. But this is my personality. This is my demeanor. I'm, I'm, I'm far from a little boy. I act like a little boy. That's who I am. Like, that's how I am. But as far as I be wanting to be a boy or me classifying as a boy, that's not me. That's why I say I, I don't classify myself. Yes, because of course I'm a femme, so I got to. Motherfuckers, when I'm fucking, like, it don't matter where I'm at, people's gonna automatically assume that some a female is looking, that's dressed girly, looking girly, or act girly. They're gonna assume that they're a fucking, just, uh, that they're sh like straight, basically. Yeah. Not even Bob, straight. Yeah. So therefore, I have to be like, I'm yeah. gay. Like, um, I'm a lesbian. I like, I like girls. Da, da, da. But the only reason that I will say that, like, I'm a lesbian, but I'm straight from one person. We didn't ask y'all that. We did, did we ask her that? We, we didn't ask her that. That's, that's where it comes. That's where the no label. I'll be pitching in a no label then because, yes, one person. Okay, cool. The fuck? <laughs> in the next lifetime, you can worry about that. Until then, you in will In every be, lifetime. No. Cool. Next. Okay. Um, Like... Yeah, that's my favorite rapper. Don't think too much. Anyways, because we didn't ask. We keep. We, nobody's asking me that. <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> okay, what's our. This is an opinion question. Do we think that the LGBT community is too sensitive? Yes. Yes. I do. Completely. Honestly, I do because simple fact. I don't think studs are. I can be honest. If, we, if you want to be specific and, like, you know, point out. I'm not going to really just point out, you know, I'm not demolishing anybody, I'm not bring, like putting nobody down, nothing like that. Yeah. I'm just saying that some are too sensitive. I don't mostly, most of the time I don't think studs are sensitive because they just understand more. It'd be a lot of, a lot of bitches, that's, a lot of films that's very, very sensitive over the most shit. They don't, they don't even, and don't even understand what like studs go through, don't even understand what the <clears throat> the transgender like community go to go through like they don't understand it so it's just like but they be so sensitive more when it comes you know like just with yeah. too much with them like and i'm not trying to be like hey okay you ain't got a right to feel that way but it's still like yeah at least you get a chance like you know you get a chance here and there because i can even say that for me that's like me being too sensitive and going into the world i don't even get judged right off the bat like that yeah. i don't automatically get attacked i don't I, until i say something and so yeah. I'm with somebody that look like you. Okay. That's why. But overall, I do think they are too. Everybody's too sensitive. I do think like overall, everybody's too sensitive. Yeah. Okay. My opinion. <clears throat> I feel like the whole LGBT community is too sensitive. Like, y'all see how they be turning every. This my opinion. I don't care who don't like it. But yeah, it's not a fact. They be, it's our opinion. They be turning everything into. Well, it's affecting my eyes. They be turning everything into where everything got to be about the LGBT. And it's just like, it don't have to be like this. It's like, I feel like the LGBT community now, the people that's like, the generations and all everything that's coming up now in the LGBT community, they make it to where they force people to want to accept gay people. And it's just like, they haven't accepted us for all these years. Yeah. You don't have to force it. They, st they definitely not going to accept us if you force it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I just feel like it's just, it's too pushy. They put it in the cartoons, the movies, all this, and then mm. they take everything personal. Straight people can't even say one little thing without them getting offended, and they want to, you know, do all yeah, this. It's and like that. now you can't say it's like, just, you can't say you can't say one. I'm not trying to say okay, cool sex and heterosexual things, but people should be able to say what the fuck they want to say. Yeah, let's just like, be honest. If you can say what you gotta say and what you want to say, and why they can't? You Why can't be they? hypocritical when it comes to. That's what I'm saying. Because gay I'm people, the, the gay people in the community, they be quick to want to say something about the heterosexual people. Mm -hmm. But then when they say something to them, or if, if they say something to them first, mm -hmm. I can't help it if you don't say nothing back. Or I can't help it if you allow that to happen. Like, it's just, it's just like I said, in all, in my opinion, the whole world is too sensitive. But the question is about the LGBT community, I feel like it's definitely very sensitive. Um, <laughs> Next, what are your biggest goals in life? Mm. Mm. I'm letting my princess go first, or do you want me to go first? Let you go think. first. But my biggest goals in life is 
I want to own my own business, but I want to own my own um, child care uh, protective system. Like I want to create my own to where our kids don't have to have that alternative to where they only go to CPS. I want to be a bridge in between that to where they come to me instead. Like the system is so messed up and I just want to create a new environment, a new a new thing because I've been through it and I know how it is. Um, another goal is I want to take I want I want to travel the world with this girl. I want to take off with YouTube with this girl. Like I just want to live and grow up with this girl. Like that's it. That's that's it. A personal goal. I just got one personal goal. I just want to continue to be like a better person and continue to like grow and you know to just change. Not only for her, but for me as well, because I got, I've been through a lot. So therefore a lot of stuff I've been through, I just want to make sure that, <clears throat> excuse me, when I do decide to marry her, I'm that person that she deserves to fully be with. Period. What about you, baby? What's your okay, goals, so mommy? My goals, well, I have, yeah, I was like, it's goals, so it's more than one. But my goals is one thing, one main thing I want to do is <clears throat> obviously become a nurse because you have bitch smoking now, but I'll become, <laughs> it's not like I ain't going to become a nurse. I can't, I can't, I can't stop. So either way it goes, I want to become, um, the thing is I want to become a nurse, but also I am open because my passion always is always in like nursing, but I'm a nurse practitioner, but I am also open, even though this is my main passion and what, you know, where I want to be in, um, like I'm open to be in anywhere else in the, like, you know, healthcare, because honestly, like I want to be a nurse practitioner, but it's just a simple fact that like, you never know. Once you get into the medical field, you never know what you want to do. Like you never know, like, I don't know, like, you know what you want to do, but you also see some stuff and find out things like the stuff that people search up and show y'all it's so many different type of nurses out there so many different type of doctors out there it's so many different type of people out there, like different type of um of fields in healthcare like you know but i also want to get into business as well because i want to open my own healthcare facility so like my own medical facility like um it can be a hospital or it can be like a couple of clinics but I, I want, want it be because bosses. honestly, the healthcare system is as I'm not going. I'm going to be okay. honest about that, and it's just like everybody that's in the healthcare, like healthcare profession, they do not care. Like mm -hmm. they really don't care. Like <laughs> if you want to be honest, they really don't care. Like I hate how America really get overcharged for so much stuff, and we in debt with so much stuff just because of our health. We're in debt with it. Like I want stuff to where it's like people can still get treatment, even the homes can still get treatment without having to pay or do so much you know exactly. i'm not saying that hey just come in and get something walk away and we just pay for everything we're gonna run into bankruptcy no i'm just saying like it's if, like they if don't a have health, a heart if no a person, yeah like if a homeless person come and they're able to actually do something we can easily have like i can always have it to where they go to the show to where they work there to stay there like you know like something to always to help them somehow pay for their stuff in some way because just like I'm like I'm not saying everybody. If you're not able to, of course you're not able to. Yeah. Like that's fine. I still can. You still can get that help. But I'm just saying like, no. Like I'm not sitting here. Okay, well you don't have no money. I'm sending you back home, and you can't come in here, and you're getting this bill, and you just already yeah. got nowhere to live. No. One thing I like about the so you can go work if you're able to move around and work and do something with your life. I'm gonna give you that opportunity. I'm also gonna help you. I'm gonna give you that opportunity too. So that's what I want for them, and that's why yeah. I want for just just people. Period. That's not able to afford healthcare. One thing I like about the both of us is we want to be our own bosses, but we also want to help people. Like we want to help people. Like yeah. we genuinely want to help people. So it's just like, I liked it about the and both of us. And it don't matter who. Like, it don't matter who it is. Like, I don't care. Part. We'll be back dropping more videos. So just let us know. Keep inboxing us on our social medias. And we'll see you later. Bye.